Alright, welcome back to Zelda Outlands. We're in, uh, good old Orange Dungeon 2. Uh, we haven't made it very far into the dungeon yet, but we're gonna try and get through as much of this as we can to hopefully find our container, the dungeon item, and the Tetrarch. We've only really managed to cross dungeon one off the list so far, so it'd be kind of nice to get through another one. Rupees help, we're starting to get back up there a bit. Need to save up for either that. Um, wow. So, this is a sprite swamp with Aquamentis, but it's using Almost like the Stealpho spray from Zelda 2. The closest way I can describe it anyway. That definitely uh, was not the boss of the dungeon, I don't think. But again, I don't think Dungeon 2 is usually expecting you to have the Master Sword and the Blue Tunic, so we might be a little overpowered for this dungeon, but hopefully that just works to our advantage. Okay, so this guy also wants the meat. Wow, there's the dungeon item, so we just picked up the raft. Let's see, maybe we can, uh... Oh, there's another... Another Aquamentis. Stalfos. Alright, so we have the heart container and the, uh, the Tetrarch left to get. Wow, this is uh, officially a third, third one of these enemies now. So, that gave us the heart container. It looks like one of those Gyptos has the Tetra Arc in it, so... That should finish off most of this dungeon. You know what, I might leave that though and look at the last few rooms before we collect that last enemy. Don't want to have to come back here just for these last couple rooms to make sure there's nothing hidden in here. Okay, there's a key to that top room. It's another bomb upgrade. Kinda of weird to find a key at the end of the dungeon. Not sure that we even really need that at this point. <sighs> of course. We leave the uh the arc behind explore the dungeon and end up getting ourselves killed to collect a key that we may or may not even need at this point. Okay, 
it's okay, this game has been uh, a nice little distraction from the fact that uh, the world's kind of in lockdown right now. I uh, hope everyone out there is uh, staying inside and staying safe right now. I wonder what games everyone else is playing right now to keep busy. I know I can't be the only one um, doing some serious video game playing while we're all kind of locked inside, so... There we go. To go back and uh, collect that tattoo art and just make sure we've checked out these last few rooms. Not helpful. I think we've seen just about everything in this dungeon now. So let's pick up this Tetra Arc and go back to complete Dungeon 3, I guess. the overworld for us as well. Not sure if we're gonna need that to get to a dungeon like in the original um, NES game. I don't think I even need to say spoiler alert for that game anymore. That's a like a 30 year old game at this point so if you're not sure of the secrets in that game uh, by this point kind of late. Now the only problem is Dungeon 3 was all the way across the overworld. It's going to take a little bit of time to get back there. But maybe we can find something in the overworld on the way. Oh, let's see. So Dungeon 3 is kind of in the top left corner of the map, and we were in the farthest bottom right of the map. Well, I, I don't think I've managed to kill any of those bats yet at this point. We need a lot of rupees. <laughs> that shop's not quite it. I mean, the shop upgrade and potion would help, but the other store is way more important. We need that bow, we need those arrows, we need that land. Those three things all. Okay, this, so that was a wrap location. If only we had one of those uh, 150 point ruby spots right now, that would be uh, super helpful. See, a lot of 
dead end in this whole world. I'm not sure if there's little tricks to get around them or if that's just meant to be that way. <laughs> Wow, is that our uh, third fairy fountain we found so far in the old world? We're uh, back at dungeon one. Yeah, dungeon one. So now we know where we are. Kind of looking around, hoping to find somewhere we can get a lot of rupees in a fast way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.